Father, thank you so much you gather us in this place, Lord. So many situations we have. Lord, you save our life. That's why we are here in this presence right now, safely. Thank you so much. It is pleasure. It is a big privilege. Lord, please give us your Holy Spirit today. So open our heart. So we want you to give our heart to you. Lord, each and every one of us, no exception, we want to come to you. Come closer. Thank you so much. Nobody can bother us, even virus. We want to worship you in spirit and truth. Thank you so much. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. James chapter 1 verse 17. James chapter 1 verse 17 in a box. In a green box. So we're going to read this together. 1, 2. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shift, shifting shift. In the Bible said, what things came from above? The Bible said, Huh? Every good and perfect gift. Amen? What, what, I'm, what I'm saying in Hindi? Upar. <laughs> right? That good gift is king from Upar. Right? So we sing this song. Stuti <laughs>
born place again. Thank you for protecting us from virus. Thank you for giving us your word today. This moment we want to go and humbly bow down in your presence. Forgive our sins during the last week, what we had done, what we had think. Wash our body, mind, and spirit by the blood of Jesus Christ. Clean everything before standing in front of you. Open our heart and eyes. So we want to see your face. We want to see, we want to get close to you. We worship you. We praise you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We proclaim our faith with this Apostle Creed. One and two, I believe in God the Son Almighty, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to heaven. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, Jesus, living and living. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We sing one more song in collect us and offering. After that, Pastor Munish give the offering prayer. Lord, we thank you for this tithe and offering that has been collected. We offer back to you that it will be used for your kingdom. We also pray for your blessing over each person here this morning. Lord, you alone know each person's need. You alone know, Lord, the wants in their life and the issues in their life. And so, Lord, we pray that whatever our love for you we have offered before you, may you accept our love offering this morning. We offer this to you again, and we again ask you for your blessing over each person here this morning. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. We read this together slowly. 1, 2. And you made alive. Who are dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once worked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all have once conducted ourselves in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilled 
And that's the way to share the word of God to another people, right? All Indians in Fiji can hear the word of God. Amen. 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 Today I just want to think of the title of my sermon. You are dead. Repeat after me. You are dead. You are dead. Say to each other, you are dead. <laughs> what about your feeling? Suddenly on the street or you can go to market and some people come to you and they say, you are dead. <laughs> what about your feeling? Actually, that, that word, that is not a good word, right? Yeah. If somebody come to me and you're dead, I can say to you, you are so dead. <laughs> Maybe. Because I'm not feeling well, right? Uh, when I go back to Korea, it's, uh, the, I think it's a few years ago, I went back to Korea. My mother is very old now. My father is more older, like, uh, more than 80 now. My mother said, I took <coughs> photo. So what, every time we took the photos, what kind of photo you make? So he, she went to the, the photo st st station, what do you call it? The shop? Studio. Yeah, studio. And properly wear and lip, lip, yeah, lipstick. <laughs> and dressed and the hair, everything perfectly. And she, she took the photo and showed them, showed me the one picture with, with the frame. <clears throat> so what is this? I have to prepare my dad. <laughs> so she took a photo for that. So uh, it, this does something like a custom in Korea. Before the old woman old and they suddenly die and they can't use the photos, right? For the funeral. So uh, almost Korean women, they want to show themselves after the death, <laughs> even. <laughs> That's why they prepare something for two in Korea. They do. So, she showed me that picture. But uh, as, as a son, I'm not feeling much well. Right? That is just like that. Yeah? In the Bible said today, you were dead. You were dead. Now I can tell you that this Bible, Ephesian, Paul, Apostle Paul, he is very old man, old pastor. He's away from the Ephesus, the city, was very far from Rome. He's in Rome. And he was quarantined in one house. It's like a jail. He can't do anything to Ephesus people, the church. That's why he started writing. This is the letter I told you many times. Chapter 1. Say hello to them first. After that, who you are. Ephesus people, you are under a love, our God. He writing many times over, I preach preaching to you. I preach, I preach it to you. Six kind of blessing you have. God loves you very much. That is the chapter one to chapter three to uh, chapter chapter one verse three to fifteen. And after that, he say, "I'm very thankful, you guys, because of your church. I really appreciate to our God." And after that, he writing something. I keep praying for you to know. Our God more. And he pray, pray, uh, pray, for, pray three things more. Maybe you remember right now. Something has come up. Maybe you listen to the word of God in your house. The spirit of wisdom and revelation come to you. And you know, enlighten your heart. Eyes, spiritual eyes in your heart, so you know three things. Hope of calling 
and the glorious inheritance what you have and lastly incomparable power you have that was the last sermon I gave you now he's starting something this word you are dead he says something before what you were that's why I'm thankful for that but I want to give you pray for you guys three things and after that he's saying like this you were not you all you were you were means it was past right it was past some people growing up some people getting old they always sing the talking is much because they are old young people doesn't say like that but the old people always say that when I was young when I was young when I was your age when I was every time old people do that um, getting I'm getting old right now that's why I'm used to say like this to my son and my son said <laughs> He do it again. <laughs> All people always do. That is past, but we can never forget, right? Past. You have to remember who you are, who were you are. That's the important things for what you are today. We are living in this moment, but actually, that present time is nothing. If you can say it right now, that means that now is gone already, right? Understand? Yeah. There's no right now. I can say to you right now, that means that now is already past. Understand me? So all things in the past. So what you were. In the Bible said, you are dead in your transgressions and sin. What is transgression and sin? Exactly transgressions and sin, you know that what is the sin, right? We commit all the time sin. Transgression and sin, they're all sin. But a little bit different. Exactly word transgression. Not I'm not saying about English. The original word, the Greek word, it was written in the Greek. That's why I'm saying, in the Greek word, transgression means you going the way. Right? Come to me, please. You going the way, but you out of the way. Understand me? That is wrong. If you drive a license and you can have to drive at the first time you the picture handle and you are very deaf my wife doing like this shaking shaking sometimes confused what is break and exit so they drive but very dangerous to turn away right of the road that is accident transgression means you have to go right way but wrongly out of the road that's the transgression means and what is the sin means in a Greek you use the arrow you know arrow arrow have a target over there have to everybody wants to Make made a target, right? Focus on it and aim and shoot. But that arrow is not going to the center and out. Some people's belly. I try to make a target, but it's going away. That means is a sin. What is meaning? God has a purpose for your life. Amen? 
God made you a purpose, a reason. But you missed the target. So wrongly go out. We made it by God, worship to our God, but some people miss the target. That target is not to our God, to another God. Amen? We worship idol, we worship ourselves, we worship our desire, we worship our family or our children. Then our God. That means sin, we can call it. So what you can say that? Transgression is crime to the people. The sin today is crime to our God. Can you understand me? You are that because you your target is out. And you were that because you out of the road. You have to come back to the road. Amen. You have to get on your target aim properly. And go on the target. Fulfill, fulfill the mission. Main purpose God made you. Main purpose what God made you. The reason has to come back. Amen. Each and everyone has a reason to live. Everyone reason to send you in this world. You children. Men are. You have a reason to live. Amen? <coughs> you have a purpose. You have to do something to do today or tomorrow and for the future. Amen? You have to be the one. Amen? If you do, you fail of a mission, then we can call it, it is sin. Amen? We have to glorify our God. That's the main cause. We have to do it. Different kind of way, different, different kind of job we do. So we have to, different kind of way, can glorify our God. As a pastor, I have to lead you to our God. It's my mission. That's why I all do my best. I have to do it. Amen? For you two, you are mother, you have all kind of position you have. You are the wife. You are the people of our church. Even smaller sweeping away in our church is the purpose. Amen. We have to keep on our purpose to do. And don't do anything bad for the people. That's transgression. But point is here. You were dead. You are then dead because of your transgressions, trespasses, and sins. But Jesus made you alive. Amen. Jesus made you alive. That is the future. That is the real. We have to think about who we are. We will work. If that's those people, they read this Bible today, what they were thinking. Before they believed Jesus Christ, before they became a Christian, what they were, they lived their life their own. Right? Right? They have no idea who is maker. They had no idea who is our salvation. They go to the worship to idols, they worship their own. Whatever they do, they can do. Even lying, bad word, bad behavior, for the benefit for their life, they do everything. That's what today Bible said. Verse 2, in which you once walked according to the cause of this word. Some people in the church still they just follow the word of this word. You know the rule of this word is saying you can go to the field, you can go to the yard, and you can see that you fish, you can watch them. Always bigger fish, small fish, eight. 
by the big sea, big fish, right? That's the rule of this world, right? Always weak people, the small people. They have no power, they have no money. That's why they were devoured by the big mouth. That's the rule of this world. But still we are here, that's why we also doing their things. Poor people are always poor. Sick people, nobody can help them. Even the children, it's just like a prey for the money. That's the rule of this world. We were just follow the things. We have no hesitation to do some bad things to other people, even our family. We hurt people. That's the following this world. Who is the prince of this world? In the Bible said, the prince of the power of the air. The spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. Who is that? Satan. Satan. Satan is not a king, actually. Satan is just a creature by the God. One of the angels at the first time. God had a big plan. That's why God just allowed him to rule this world. If I have a time, I can explain why God allowed Satan to this world. But I have no time right now. That's why we need a Bible study. Right? Sometime later, I can explain everything about this. But you have to know this. This air, this under the air, whole of the world, this principle of the power of the air, they hold it right now. That's why all the world, they're going away to the weak. They're going away to the punishment, destruction. Sometime later, Jesus come into the world and he will recover everything. Amen? He will be punished by God. He is working right now until the sun is of disobedience. Who is disobedience? Who is? He, Satan, is what for? In the Bible said, walks the walks in the sons of the sons of disobedience. Yeah, who is the sons of disobedience? We were, right? And the people outside of the church, they never can listen to the word of God. Even they listen to the word of God, they disobey. Amen? Amen. Still in the church, some people disobey. Yeah? We have a bad people all the time. Even I have a free son, not all this all obedient. Our nature. Because we are here under the air, yeah, so many desires come into my heart. So sometimes I just want to enjoy my life. I just lie down on the bed. I don't want to get up, even in a Sunday worship service, right? Even pastor can do. <coughs> even my pain, my body, some fever come, and I don't want to come to church. Oh. We are all do, right? The Spirit of God is walking among us. That's why God made us to come to church. Amen? Amen? We are under the power of the Holy Spirit. But outside of the church, they are the sons of the disobedience. They all the time arrogant. They all the time rebellious to our God. Paul said, you have to remember... We have to memorize, remember everything. 
before you come to church, before you became a Christian, you were dead in your trespasses and sins. But one thing is very important thing. Grace of God, Jesus come into your life. The Word of God come to you like a bomb. So you change everything. He's safe. He made your life. That's why you are here today. Amen. That's why we can smiling face. We can do smiling face. That's why my children, they walking on the stage right now. Even coronavirus is not easy to make a distance, but we have to stay here to listen to the word of God. Amen. Amen. That is a grace. You didn't know if you don't agree about what you were. That means no grace. That's why Paul said, "You remember what you were, what you were." You are among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling of desire of the flesh and of mind, and were by nature children of wrath. What is the wrath? I don't know what is the pronunciation of the proper prayer. Wrath? 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 wrath. What is a wrath? I was very, uh, very strict in my house because I have two things I can control. When they were, they were controlled by they, they really good boys, but they were young. Three boys running out. That means crazy. So what we have, what I have to do, like a soldier. <laughs> so many times. I angry with them. <coughs> so healing them. So if I can call Philip, 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 he no need no uh, don't afraid like this. In Philip Im 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 is my family name, the pronunciation in Korean. That's why I Philip So my voice is different. And uh, Im <laughs> they start to know that because his father anger is very fierce. Amen. Our God is more fierce. Worse. His anger is really fierce. Really strong. Nobody can stand against our God. Amen? The wrath is from our God. Like a thunder. Like a rolling thunder of the sky. His wrath is really, really fearful. We were by the nature of the children of wrath. In the wrong, I told you already, God is the, the clock is now 11.59. It is about to punish all the people of this earth. That's why we can say that this time the punishment time is coming. Soon enough. Because all the sin in the world trans, transpasses and sin is growing up. Maybe this coronavirus situation is the one of the sign to give you. Last word will be changed, will be different. We have to be warned by God. Amen?
I can ask you. I don't want to give you a sermon long time because my sons always complain to me. I want to ask you again. Are you on the road? Your aim is proper right now. Or I can ask you. Are you following the word of God or still following this word? We have to check ourselves. We were saved by the grace of our God. Jesus Christ, He already sacrificed for us. But still your one leg is on a church, while the other leg is outside of the church. You are hesitated right now. You are sometimes go to the word, following the desire of the, this word, the rule of this word, following of the principle of the power of the air. And Sunday come to church and pretending like a Christian. Answer. Is on you. You have to answer yourself. Please come back to our God. Amen? Amen. Don't be there. Don't hesitate it in a line. Just come over to our God. This is blessing. If you want to know about more and more grace of our God, you want to know more, you, you go back to my sermon. Ephesians chapter 1, I told you 16, the blessing from heaven and realm. All kind of spiritual blessing, God already given to you. You just abandoned because of a desire. I can't watch you over you in this corona situation. Nobody comes to church. We worship in our, church, in our house too. But some people using their chance to go out of the church. Some people use this chance to go to the witchcraft. Some people go to the fortune teller. I don't ask you privately. privately. Maybe you have to be honest before then. Amen? You stay here, even you have unbenedict, un, un, unbenefit. Even something you can have to be lost, you have to stay here, right? Because spiritual blessing is the foundation of your life, amen? All the things you do, you lost your memory about Grace of our Jesus Christ. That means you think about what you, we were. Who we were. Before you come to church. You are the same people in the world. They are going widely. They are going badly. They are going to be an animal in the world. Don't be like that. Amen? We are the children of God. We are the Christian. God, using his own finger, one by one, pick it up from the pit. Amen? We are the blessing people. We are in the middle of this blessing. Amen? Close your eyes. I can ask you again, especially... Think about it. Are you alive or dead? You are still dead? Maybe you need a picture for after the death. But we are here alive. Because we have a life. That fish can swim. That's why they flow away with the water. That fish always do. But fish alive, 
they are across the river. Amen? We have to go into that river, cross the river, go out the more high place we can go. That means we are alive. That is not easy. But use the tail, use the power of the Holy Spirit, and you can go on the high place. We have to be. Lord, I need something. Your Spirit. I need your word. Please give, a, give us the word of God so we can follow. So we want to be alive in spirit. Lord, please make us brave. Please make a power. Do give us the power. So overcome the world. Overcome the death. Fulfill of the church. We will be full of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Let's pray. Let's pray. Our oh, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for getting us together in this place, Lord. Lord, even we can't see each other, but your eyes always on your children, on your our people of God. Lord, they are spreading out. They come to church. They can't come to church. They stay in a house, in a corner of the house. They eat. Some people secretly, they close their eyes and call on your name. They're watching that video. They sing a song to you, Lord. That precious worship to you, they made it. Lord, we were overcome the world. Because you have a power to overcome the world. You have a power to overcome the dead. You have a power to fool, feel of your church full of your presence right now. That's why I know that you have a power. Lord, we give you thanks for that. You open the church, that's why we gather finally. But we are not in safe. That's why we want to come to you under the wing of your presence, Lord. Now we are under your protection. Thank you so much for this, Lord. Now we want to remember what we were. We were dead spiritually with our trespasses and sins. Our target is out. And we were out on the road, Lord. But we want to come back to you. You made a way by your body of Jesus Christ on the cross, crucified. Tore down. Shed your blood for us. Thank you so much for this, Lord. Grace of our God. Only by grace we can come into your presence right now. So we are in a blessed in the middle of your presence, Lord. Lord, thank you so much, your grace. Thank you for your love. Please give us, give, give us more word and your Holy Spirit. So, we want to be alive. This word is very cruel. This word is very dangerous. Lord, without you, we can't be alive in a moment. Lord, you come to our life and you can protect with your pierced hand by the spear, by the nail. Thank you so much. You sprinkle your blood on my forehead, on all the doors of our house. So evil spirits, their arrows, their attack, even virus can come every people's house. Thank you so much. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, uh, Pastor Lin, uh, for that word of good. Uh, Pastor Lin, hum ke yaad dilai se, ki we have uh, a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. Amen. We are alive today. Uh, by what our Lord Jesus Christ has uh, done for us. Um, many things has happened. I think almost three months we were away. Uh, we couldn't move around much. Um, and many things happened. Uh, one is um, the Fijian mother who stayed opposite uh, Rukmani's home, she passed away. Uh, 
Um, so that is said for us as a church. And uh, now also from Olosara, uh, she has a minor stroke. She had a minor stroke. So now all of Sarah ki uske minor stroke ra, but she has recovered. And Kalavati, she is not feeling well. Please pray for her. And also Shell is there. He is admitted still at the Lotoka Hospital this day. Oh, he is discharged. Yeah, so he was admitted, but now he is discharged. Please remember them in your prayers. Is there anyone, anything we miss out on our church families? No. And uh, also you will notice uh, where there is announcement at the back. Okay, um, again, uh, welcome everyone. And uh, thank God that we are here again in the house of the Lord this morning. And yesterday was uh, the church clean. Uh, some came and some could not come because you were busy. Uh, but anyways, um, the next week Saturday, it's uh, group A. It's your cleaning. Uh, next week, Sanitary ke group A ke cleaning hai. And then the members are Aruna, uh, Savita, Lalita, Komal, Pramila. She's not here. Angeli is not here, Saira and Alia. Okay, so that's group A. It's, it's at the back of the paper. Okay, number four, announcement. It says we have situation of COVID-19 and we still need to be careful. And uh, you notice that under your chairs, if you are sitting at the right position, there is a cross... Uh, Sticky tape, and that is not uh, that is not what we wanted. This is uh, from the government. Okay, this is a government recommendation. It says, please make sure that we keep the numbers. So more than hundred people, we will not be able to gather. Agar hundred say just here, we need to have two services, but that's not the place for us. Hum log ke members hundred se kam kiye, so we'll continue just having a morning service. Okay, so make sure that the congregation maintain at least 1.5 meters. So the tapes that you have don't take wape laga hai, 1.5 meters approximately. So please try to sit uh, where the marks are. And uh, also uh, we have provided hand sanitizer. So before you come in the church in the morning, to church ICFLA Peter, you will see that there is a hand like Dawai ye, you hat me lagai ke, uske chate ke nahi ye, don't eat it, it's for you to wipe your hands eh, don't put it in your face, it's just for your hands, okay? So before you come, do that. And you will also notice some people is standing like a gun, banduk terka, banduk nahi hai, it's just to measure the temperature, ki tumne bukhar hai ki hai, so that is what it is for. And if you are still not feeling well, agar aap tumne ke bukhar lage hai, it's better to stay home and rest. Chech me aega, bolega moon gira hai, oh madam. Karam lagi padri pata ni kun si bole No, you will feel not well So it's just best to stay home And take care of yourself Okay, so we will not be having Bible study now And we will try to Our Holy Communion also We will do it later When it is a good time for all of us Okay, so again Thank you everyone for being here This morning And that's all Let's finish with the Benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with each and every one of us, now and forevermore. Amen.